26 or 27, 26 I think. And Dad had been a manager of a service station selling gasoline and he lost his job which had been the Marlin Oil Company. They went bankrupt. So he lost his job and he went to Texas alone and found a job supplied by a man who was lying on a couch because he had TB. And In tuberculosis was pretty bad. So about 1926 or 27, I don't know which, we moved to Texas, mother and the boys and I, and we went on the train and she didn't know it was going to be cold, so we didn't have coats, and we nearly froze on the train to Texas. And in Texas, we just lived in different company houses. Well, just as time went along, some that were not company houses, but were little shacks. And we had lots of adventures, like. One time, Mother pulled the water tray out from under the refrigerator, and it was full of mice, <laughs> so she screamed. <laughs> and so we lived around in company houses and this and that. It, you know, as years went along, and the oil field provided more money for us. We lived in company houses, and. In uh, outside of border, someplace, and what was the uh, what was your house like in Oklahoma? What was your house like in Oklahoma? Do you remember that? That's what. What was your house like in Oklahoma? Do you remember that? Oh, that one that we owned. Mother's grandfather died. And I was too young to have known much about what was going on. But I imagine they, they bought the house and a Dodge touring car with money he probably gave them because he had money. And what's that man? Uh, going to the other, other place, I guess. So we went to Texas and we had lots of adventures in Texas. For a while, Dad drove a um, truck with gasoline and oil to deliver to stations. Uh -huh. And we kids would go with him, and if when we came to a hill, he'd make us walk up it, walk down it, because he was afraid of the brakes on the old <laughs> truck. So we had adventures that way, but as we grew with the company in the world, Dad stayed with the Texas company, and he would have been sorry to know that they sold out to uh, Chevron. But I still got some Chevron stock. That's all I've got left. I've cashed everything else out. I've got 520 shares. What was your dad's name? But uh, What was your dad's name? Joe. Joe. Oh, I didn't know that. Joseph Miles. Joseph Miles. What was his what was your maiden name? And Miles is Miles Joseph. Right. And, and uh, his last what was his last name? Again? What's your maiden What's your maiden name again? Before Hansted? What was his last name? What was his last name? Burton. Burton, right. Okay. Joseph. Oh. Uh, where where did he come from? Yes, our name was Burton. Was he in uh did he was he born was his family from Oklahoma or did they was he from Oklahoma or did he come from somewhere else? Where did he No. They lived in Mississippi. Oh. But they had nine boys and one girl. And they came over to Oklahoma from Mississippi. Uh, Tupelo.
So they came over to Oklahoma and they settled in, I don't know the name of the town. I've forgotten, I have known it. And then they uh, went to Chickasha. So they lived in Chickasha. And Grandma was living and so we had Grandma and I, we lived here and around the block, Grandma lived. So in those days, I could come and go to Grandma's house freely. No one worried about something was going to happen to me. What was your Grandma's house like? Tennessee Jane. My Grandpa's name was Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, okay. <laughs> Tom, it was that Thomas Jefferson Burton, or was that... Yeah, and uh, mother, grandmother had been uh, Bert. Bert? Before she married him. Her name was Bert and she married a Burton? A Bruton. <laughs> a Bruton, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What was their house like? Their house was a little flat house. I, one, two, Five rooms and a bath, I guess. We never had a, an abundance of money, none of us, except some of the boys had good jobs and made a lot of money. The boys, I mean, grandpas and grandma's sons, the nine boys. The girl was named Zephyr, and I can't believe how much Meredith looks and acts like Zephyr. You could almost call Meredith Zephyr. What, what was she like? What was she like that reminds you of Meredith? Well, she was a flirt. Ah. Of course, most girls, I suppose, her age at that time were. Because when I knew Zephyr best, she was like in her late teens or early 20s. How old were you then? I was about six, I think, when we left. Chickasha and went to Texas. So I had always lived nestled with relatives, but we went to Texas and we had no one. The first thing I remember in Texas was uh, Christmas, and we were in a little two or three room house in. Uh, Burger, and mother and dad were wrapping chicken presents and putting them on the tree, and I swore that Santa Claus came. I peeked through the keyhole and I knew Santa Claus came because <laughs> I saw him. So that was a memory in Texas. And what happened to uh, all of the relatives that were living in Oklahoma? Where did they go? Did they stay during the Depression? Did they stay in Oklahoma? Or did no, they... not very many of them. Some of them stayed in, like, uh, Dexter and Lawton. And Tiff in Wichita Falls. And Till in Sulphur and other places. And... Uh, Last year in Dallas, da you might want to know, maybe you don't, that last year was in his office at a bank of secretaries and his own secretary, and he was in his office, and this discharged sailor, sailor came in and killed him, oh, wow. shot him. Right there in his office. And that was when, the early 40s? Uh, because he had been associating with this sailor's wife. And I guess he wasn't true to my Aunt Stella. Stella was his wife, and they had a daughter that they adopted named Mary. So, so that's what happened to Lester. But Lester and Teal worked for a company called uh, what is it called? 
anyway, cleaning materials that are still made. Uh -huh. Lasher was the big boss of several states, and Keyhole was a carrier that went from state to state and did things there. So they all did very well, those three. Most of the rest of them kind of survived like everybody else did in those days. Till I went in 1941, I think it was, when I was 21. The day I was 21, I went into the Army. And I was always sorry, kind of, that I did because a few months later, they took nurses in and trained them. And you had a vocation when you came out. But my mother was a postmaster of a little fourth class post office. So when I was in the army, they didn't know what to do with us girls. So they put me in to run the post office in the hospital. And we received servicemen from overseas who were injured and had been doctored on the way in. And they all had such, such odors because they had old bandages, old casts on their, I'm sorry, sorry. old casts on their legs and stuff like that. So I met a guy in the army who came in to pick up mail for his unit and that was John and John then went to Czechoslovakia and then he came back on a boat from Czechoslovakia he was a company clerk, that's why he wasn't in battle. And he came back to the United States and put on a train across the United States and sent to Japan. So he was in, in Japan and I was then about then discharged from the army. But we were always writing and after the war we married in Kellerville. And then we lived in... Oh, sorry, just one second. 